Hey Vlog, herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Ausgabe hier von All In. Ich bin jetzt gerade in Düsseldorf am Flughafen und hole DJ Sanga Genesis ab. Sanga Genesis ist aus Toronto, Kanada. Und äh, er ist auf einer Europatour und ich habe ihm auch zwei Gigs hier in Deutschland besorgt bzw. organisiert. Und äh, ja, er wird jetzt gerade noch kontrolliert vom Zoll. Äh, ich warte auf ihn und äh, dann schauen wir mal rein, was er so von Deutschland hält. Ja, also. So I had like this whole idea and I was gonna do it consistently. I've just been so busy. And then when I put out edits, like I, in my thinking at first was I'm gonna give everyone a bunch of edits. Now I'm like, you know what? If I can get five edits done, like I'll push it out because it's just consistency, yes, yes, right? Put push it yes. out. Um, and it, it'll just push me to practice more. So I think right now, after I checked the mailing list last, before I left, I was at about 127 DJs on the mailing list. Okay. And then all of a sudden, I'm, I, I put up the Insta story, I tagged it, and I, I think I, I got a considerable amount of views on it. Like, it was good. All of a sudden, all these DJs I don't even know. Yes. And my <laughs> DMs are like, oh, here's my email, here's my emails. The me, me. But I don't know how these DJs yes. saw this or where they, like, why they're posting. I know a couple DJs reposted, but I don't think these DJs are even connected. Yeah. So the only thing I can think of is either they came across it on like uh, like the hashtags or something, and they must have seen the rest of my profile and thought, hey, this is worth getting. Do you understand? Yes, yes. Because if they don't know, like if there's no link, the only way you the only way you'll have the old ones is if you got the email or you know like the link. That's yeah. why the old ones available. So I'm pretty surprised by this that in my, because I saw my, um, what unread, you know, the, the, yes. uh, the, 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 what is it, the, the request messages. Yeah. I, I never get anything in there. All of a sudden I saw like the last couple of days the numbers are just going up. I'm nice. Like, oh, it's just right. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. So, so I think it helps in that sense, like the credibility on the DJ side. But I think the main reason I was doing it was because there's a bunch of tracks that I just really liked. That yes. I come across that no record fools would have, or, oh, okay. or or I didn't see it come up at that time, yeah. so I just like I'll just make my own. I didn't have it, yeah. so I just figured why keep it to myself? I'll just put it out. Right? Yeah. yeah, nice. Yeah, I, yes. I used to. I, I started this thing too with editing and stuff like this, but I wasn't. Yeah, and I wasn't. Edit. I wasn't uh, consistent. Yeah, it's hard. It's it's it's. There's so much work involved in being a DJ. Yes, but the vlog yeah. works for me. Yeah. You know, the vlog thing. But the edits, they didn't work for me. I, I, I don't stopped. Know, I, I don't know if... I think it depends on what what you want to get out of it, right? For me, the edits were... I, I only... Like I said, I did it because there was tracks I just wanted for myself in my own sets. So I did it. And then on top of that, I wanted to just push myself to spend more time in Ableton and just get quicker okay. and better at stuff. So I was like, cool, I'll put, these are just sitting here. Yes. These are my own edits. Yeah. Why don't I just put them out, right? Yeah. It's um, right, I will do the same. It's the same way I've got a couple of homies, um, you know, like your, your, your kind of go-to DJ friends or whatever. And when we exchange music, sometimes we'll, you know, or most of the time when we exchange, we just toss in uh, our, our own edits that we use or, or the tracks we have with our own cue points. So sometimes I'll pull up a track and it'll be like all these weird cue points. I'm like, yeah. oh, that's my buddies. But it's cool to look at because I'm looking at his cue points. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. that's his thought yeah. process here. How do you yes. do that? And sometimes we just be like, hey, I really like this idea. Can I like use it or can yeah. I flip it? And we're like, cool, whatever, right? Yeah. Um, so, so I found that interesting. So I said, you know what? Even those weird edits that I do where it's like I chop something up or I, Cool, I'll just nice. start putting it up. I think the biggest thing was getting the DJs hitting me back, being like, oh, this is dope, like, thank you. Yeah. Or these are straight fire or yeah. whatever. I'm like, all right, yeah. cool. If, if, you know, five people it helped their DJ sets and them be better DJs because I gave them some songs they didn't know of or whatever, cool. Yes, it's, it's very good to get feedback. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it makes you doing more yeah if, yeah. You have, if you get good feedback then you feel good and you do more yeah. if, if you put things out it's yeah. every time good because yeah. you get better because you get feedback yeah. and you do things and and you are if you do it consistent yeah. and you learn more and more and more you with Ableton and me maybe with final cut and now yeah. with uh, 
Premiere Pro. Well, 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 even with putting stuff out, I think in this day and age where content, it's, you want to be seen, you want to be out there. Sometimes I notice with mixtapes even. Yeah. I don't, I'm on a fence on how I feel about mixtapes. I still enjoy making them and doing them. Do I think they have the legs of what they had for the listeners before? Like, oh, this cool mix for people who are, are observing you, seeing your career, seeing your trajectory, or following you. Sometimes it feels like them just seeing you putting out something is enough. They may not even go listen yes. to the mixtape. They're like, oh, this mm -hmm. guy just dropping a mixtape every week. It's a consistent thing. That, so that's what it is. That and that's in the end. That is what counts. If you can, if if the people see, okay, he tells me that he does every Sunday a vlog, puts yeah. every Sunday at twelve o'clock a vlog. If I do it three times, people don't recognize me. But if I do it one year or yeah. one and a half yeah. or two or three. Agencies will come. Yeah. I, I think there's a perception there that if you've been doing it for so long, oh, there must be successful. There must be something here. Because yeah. why would anyone do this yeah. for a year if five people are listening to it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So I, I think maybe that's the same way. I, get, I don't know about mixtapes. That's a whole other <laughs> discussion to be had. Yes. Uh, but I feel that that's the way I feel about edits, though. Yeah. You know, uh, but also here, yeah. the question I already uh, asked you in the car, yeah. what is successful for you? So oh. for me, I, now I have 300 subscribers on YouTube. Okay. I put 71 uh, videos out. Is this successful? So for me, successful is that I can do what I want. Mm -hmm. For me, for somebody else, it's successful that he gets every month 10,000 euro on his bank account. Mm. For other people, it's successful that they have a family and no. uh, so the question is, what is successful for you? Are you saying just as a DJ or as a person, like overall? Overall? Overall. What is for you a successful life? Because you told me that you, uh, that you want to be successful, oh, yeah. but what is successful for you? I think, to be honest, that is often changing in my mind, okay. my views of success. Uh, you know, I'll be real, I think. Uh, there is a financial, a number there in my head at least, or uh, 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 a power that comes with uh, having resources. So you have money. to for money? Um, yes, in a way. Okay. Because, uh, like I said in the car, money is a tool. Yes. You know, uh, money is not an end all and be all, but it, it is a means to opening other doors, yes. right? Uh, without money, we couldn't do half the things, most of the things we do, right? Um, so I view money in that light. Not because, hey, I can buy buy things, or consume things. But if I have money in the bank, it affords me the time. Mm -hmm. Because, oh, you know what, I can, I can afford to live. I don't have to hustle for that anymore. Or, to, you know, this week, I can take this week off because I've made this much. I can cover my bills, blah, 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 build my wealth and I can do this project over here mm -hmm. or fly over here to come hang out with you. Yeah. And, you know, uh, it's a tool. Yeah. It's just like anything else, a skill set even, you know, some people's skill set is amassing money. Uh, I think in life in general, I'd like that to be a pot that's constantly growing so I can explore all the things I want to do. Okay. That That's how I look at it. Uh, buy nice things. Sure. Who doesn't want nice things here and there, but I don't, it does, it's, it's, that's not what's driving that. Um, success, time. Mm -hmm. That you have free time. To do, I could not do a nine to five. Uh, I don't think I would be nearly as successful as I am DJing if I had to do a nine to five and balance it all out. Mm -hmm. Because something would have to suffer. I will record this for better quality because it's a good conversation. Oh, okay. So easy. Um, uh, uh, yes, yeah, it's success relationships. Yeah, um, you know, one of my mentors always drilled into me that um, in life, you know, first is health, mm -hmm. second is family, third yeah. is wealth. Okay, this is a priority. Uh, also. It, it, the way you kind of break it down, right? Yeah. Because what's the point of having wealth if you don't have good health? Yeah. Well, what's the point of having wealth if you don't have people to share it with? You know, you're all alone. Yeah. And if you don't have good health, how do you take care of your family? Mm -hmm. You know, you become a burden to them or whatever. It, it's connected. It's connected. It's definitely connected, right? And wealth 
again, might not just be um, fiscal, right? It, it could mean resources, people that need help. You know, it could be many things to many different people. Um, so that that's kind of how I look at my layers of what success is. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to leave a lasting impact, whether it's okay. it's it's with the people around me who I've come across in life, where if I passed away tomorrow and they had to say something or have a memory of me, that it's a good thing, that I've impacted people's lives in a better way than if I wasn't here. Yeah. Share great experiences with great people and mm -hmm. grow old, but continue to grow. Yeah. Because I feel that's something a lot of people fail to do is continue to grow. Um, I see that with a lot of DJs. I see that with DJs, especially when it comes to music and culture, because I love music, point blank period. You know, um, doesn't matter what it is, whatever genre, whatever label, if I like it, I like it. I want to know more about it. And as a DJ, I may not agree with all the new music or even old music. I mean, uh, but it doesn't mean I don't like it and I won't play it. Um, so I find, I find looking at the new trend, seeing where music is mm. going, how, you know, we're talking about trap and how trap is right now. And it, it's, it's, when you really look at it, it is a component of what, of what hip hop yeah. is, which is a bigger overarching thing. And this one component of it, that gangster side or the drug side, the trap side, is now forming its own giant, enormous culture yeah, and subculture yeah, yeah, yeah. out of that. It's exploded, right? And there's good and bad that comes with that. But it's interesting. And do the songs really motivate, but a lot of them really motivate me? Maybe not. Maybe I don't resonate with them. But I do appreciate them. And I, fuck, man, some of those Me Lewis tracks, they go hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's success is to continue growing and continue being part of the pulse and the culture of music. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not going to understand and see things through the lens of a 20 year old, but the same thing, it doesn't mean that we're not going to appreciate it Yeah. and be able to take our experiences, our insight, be able to see things that the next batch of 20 year olds are going to like, or, yeah. or I think it's even interesting now to look at the people who've grown old with music and seeing what their musical tastes become. Right, because yes, yes. Uh, because hip hop was a relatively new genre or subculture mm. in the music kind of scene, right? And now all those people that were listening to certain things in the '90s who still rock some of the new stuff and everything like that, it's what are they? They're still they're still gonna want to consume new music. Yeah, you know, you got artists like Nas still making new tracks, yes. things like that. That doesn't speak to the young kids. No. They probably don't even know who the fuck now is it, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, so it's cool. It's just cool to see that whole thing. And it's, uh, I feel that it, Spotify and where things are going with this abundance and this access and everything like that just takes away all the boundaries, you know? And now if you talk about world music and these artists doing all this cross pollination mm -hmm. and going to other markets, and that's even amazing. But, uh, but the one thing I will say is I hope that that open-mindedness to music doesn't get lost in all of this. That's right. In this instant gratification era and stuff. Yeah. Like, oh, I want to, here's my Spotify playlist. Can you yeah. play the song? Yeah. You know, like, I, I, I really hope that people go back to, or not go back to, but maintain a level of open-mindedness to, like, what they take in and that DJs still have a part in being like, hey, I can tell you really like all these songs in this yeah. vibe. How about I slip in this and you've yeah. never heard this before, but are you going to vibe out to it? Yeah. Oh, that's dope. I look, you know, I'm not, not just listen to music because everyone else is saying that this is dope and listen yeah. to it. But what I think is cool is it's maybe it's a challenge. Maybe it's a new challenge for DJs. Good morning, vlog. Uh, the first night is home. Uh, I'm gespannt, wie die beiden geschlafen haben. Wir werden dann jetzt heute ein Fotoshooting haben und heute Abend spielen wir in Eschweiler. So, we are getting ready for the photoshoot. Mr. Actually, Sanger. You know I think I'm gonna... Oh, 
<laughs> the vlog is on. <laughs> Easy. What's up? We're here on the all in vlog. I'm your guest host today, Sanya Genesis. <laughs> nice. All the way live from the T dot OVO. We are in Cleve. Yes, right. A town of. Five million, no, five million people. <laughs> five million is more Toronto. How many, how many people do you have in Toronto? <laughs> two million, two million, two million. Two million. Two million. Oh, okay. okay. Julian's brought back the uh, Kappa. <laughs> right. Because it's never really left. Julian. Okay. So we are right now here at the Hochschule. <laughs> and we meet this nice photographer today. Do you guys produce as well too? No, no we are not producers. As well as the DJMO is an improvisation. It's kind of chirping you. <laughs> yeah, they always uh, try to to bring me to the to the ground because I'm yes I'm very arrogant, you know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, very nice meeting you guys. Well, yeah. Back to work. Uh, I have a really bad smile, thank God. And you? <laughs> Enjoy coffee. So you 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 born and raised up in uh, Toronto? No. No. no okay. Close? Uh, so no, I was born in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka? Yeah, but my parents moved to Montreal when I was like one. So yeah. I don't I don't think I have that close of a connection. Like for me, every time I go to Montreal and I visit Montreal, that to me, like you said, it just feels like I've like I always feel the energy, I feel a connection there. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I understand what you're saying. Um, even for myself, you know, living outside of just just outside of Toronto, I look at my DJ career and I'm like, oh, if I lived in the city, you know, being at the club more regularly, showing face, going to meetings, things like that, it it's more accessible, mm -hmm. right? But at the same time, there's a lifestyle in the city that that I don't mind living outside of the city because. One, you can afford more, like more space, backyard, things like that. But I know as a business, there's certain things I have to compensate for. Like I have to drive more, I have to be, spend more time in my car, I have to travel more, I have to do all of this. So that's why I was curious being that, you know, you, you, are, you are aware that there's challenges that come with that. So is it that you feel that these challenges aren't going to hinder you or it's just you have that such a strong connection with your this the place where you want to stay. It's not the place of people. The people, okay. I think here are the most people I like or love. Mm -hmm. mm. And that's the reason why this is my home. Yep. So okay. I have to accept it. Yeah. I can move and create and find new people mm -hmm. uh, I like, but still, I, I guess or I think there are all, always maybe five to ten per people who are very close to you, yep. mm -hmm. yeah. and you you cannot change it. Mm -hmm. You can try to f find one or two new, yeah. mm -hmm. but still, and that's the question: What is success? Is it business success or is it? Yeah, yeah. 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 exactly same the same question. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. 
Really, that was the first or yeah, yeah, second yeah, yeah. question yeah, I yeah. asked. Yeah. Him. But that's the question. I think if I just lay in the, I going to die, mm-hmm. and I have a backflash about mm-hmm. my life. I don't think mm-hmm. about the city where I live, more about the people I met. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. Great. Yeah, yeah, and I guess that Berlin will be more tough to find these people, and also even if there are everything. Mm. I think it's more hard to get in in deeper and inner uh, friendships. Relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah relationships. People, yeah. I could live everywhere, and that's that's more the entrepreneurial thinking and yeah. design. Try to create your life, or that's feel very good for me. Uh, that you don't, yeah, that you have can work everywhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I can stay for two or three months. Yeah, yeah in Costa Rica right. or Canada, if I'm up to or if I'm feeling like that, yeah. but I don't have to. You have the flexibility. And I also make the experience uh, in Central America. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I had enough, enough money yeah, and so uh, there was no backflight. And there was just after one or two months, I just got a little bit of homesick. Yeah. 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 That what wasn't Berlin, so yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I had the time and the money to move somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's where we're back to the beginning. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a little bit of the legacy. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. But the trend in Germany is also going to the bigger cities. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's everywhere, everywhere yeah. right? That's everywhere. That's where Everybody's always is, like, right? But if I, if I feel like that, I can move tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. 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 And if not, then. I just stay here. <laughs> but do you find you, being an entrepreneur and having uh, this this sort of lifestyle that you've kind of created for yourself and these paths that you're unique to this area, like or or is this place clean? Is it cultivating other people like this that you're meeting or connecting with here, or are you meeting them elsewhere? You understand? Do you understand my question? Yeah. I think the the percentage. Mm-hmm. In the smaller or bigger city, it's the, uh, it's the same. Just in Berlin, are one million people, yeah. and here yeah. just one thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I think the percentage is, is yeah. pretty it's close. Small. Okay. And I think that if you are feel like that, and if you are happy with your lifestyle and your kind of work, you have to cultivate other people. Yes, mm-hmm. absolutely. In being who you are, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I think that you know we've talked a lot about people. And, and that is completely important, you know, though you want to have the right people around, uh, you know, I think circle. the right circles and, you know, we're having this conversation because like-minded people connecting and, you know, here I am, I've never been here before, met Julian in person for the first time and, we're, you know, but it feels like an old friend, <laughs> yeah. you know, and we're having this deep conversation as well too. Um, so it, 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 the, it exists. I'll use an example in that kind of same light uh, for, for Julian as a DJ. You know, he's here, but he's beyond the, the market that can sustain him here. So you're, you're, he's driving, you're traveling to Berlin, you know, all over these places to go to markets that can sustain and can help his career succeed. Do, do you not feel that way about your, your products and the thing, other things you create or the other business ideas that you have? Or do you, it seems to me you have this strong sense of um, trying to make, establish that market here. And, and create that here and be part of that legacy so but it's a challenge you know that's a that's a challenge that you are kind of choosing and putting in front of yourself so I'm curious as to how you how you approach that that that, that thinking at what point do you say hey you know what I really want to see this succeed maybe I need to go somewhere else or I got to do something differently to get that to succeed okay do you understand them? I, I got it, yeah. but I think there are a lot of questions. Inside. There is, there is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One question. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. That's I'm what talking I, and talking. I, I don't... <laughs> it's done. <laughs> I, I try. I try. So this is my mind, okay? I think like... It's good. Yeah, I like yeah. it. I yeah, like to listen good. to it. It's super. Yeah. Yeah. We but need I, a wine and longer time. No, it's more difficult to, to answer <laughs> no, in English. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. And, and then <laughs> still yeah. to keep focusing. Yeah. I also have problems with focusing. Yeah, yeah. But I think I don't want to answer your question with my mind. So if I stop doing it and there's, there come just some reasons, I have to leave 
leave and go to somewhere else then I will do it. Mm -hmm. But why I now actually you I don't thought to. about it. Yeah, okay. Or think about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But I I don't wanna pre-think it before it happened. Yeah, sure. yeah. It's yeah. more emotionally. Okay. Wait, yeah. 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 So yeah. it's a feeling. Yeah, okay. And I think that's a bad uh, example. <laughs> I think that the next year I don't have to work mm -hmm. to finance my 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 life basics, mm -hmm. you know what you call it? Yeah, 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 your necessities. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think still it makes no sense in the <laughs> in the realistic or if I I, I do the math about it. Yeah. But uh, I think it is uh, it's possible and then I would see where where we go to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But not I don't think that it's just happened. Mm -hmm. I don't want to pre think it. Mm -hmm. No. So if you ask me now today, yeah. I don't know yeah. why <laughs> I should yeah. leave and yeah. make my life not easier or better. Okay. Or, yeah. Uh, I, sorry, I'm just very curious about this kind of choice, yeah, especially for with Julian, you know, to see how much is the, your, the DJ career is moving forward, but you're, you know, you haven't, because most DJs will be like, okay, now it's time, I'll move to the bigger city or move, you know, that's the, to go to a different market. But, you know, and I'm seeing two like-minded people here saying, no, we're staying here and we're doing it from here. So yes, I find that very interesting. I want, I, you I, also I, had the, had I had, the, the. In the beginning of my career, I, I thought about it, but now I think like doing it like Drake and Small, you mm -hmm. know, to make mm -hmm. the city yeah. Cleve to represent Cleve. Yes, yeah. Because everybody says, also when he's not from Dusseldorf, he says he's from Dusseldorf. Yeah. Because yeah. they want to to yeah. to see the other that they live in a big, big city, city mm -hmm. yeah. and I do Put the, it on the flyer. <laughs> You're yes. not from Cleve, but just yes. write down Düsseldorf. Yes, okay. yes. <laughs> yeah, that's in Germany right now the thing. <laughs> so everyone who comes from a 500 uh, now they go uh, town, to the bigger city. <laughs> they, they don't move, but yeah. they say but they that say they are from the bigger city. You want to be no, within within Germany. <laughs> I think it's super personally because what you want to do or what you want to get in your life mm. that's the question of it mm -hmm. is it to go to the city to make very fast much money and get more public and then mm. kind of but that's a good uh, that's a good goal for me it's mm. fine mm. but if you think no i i am more open for home base and i want to travel for one or two weeks mm. then i want to resettle at home mm. uh, and also if i just traveling and and go to bigger cities it's for me more difficult to focus and uh, uh, yeah. Hustle yeah. and just work, yeah. and then here yeah. it's pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. 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 no distractions. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's super easy, yeah. and the food is coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can drink every time. Yeah. The coffee, I just put the button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I also think if there will come a chance for Julian to go to Berlin and live there for maybe one or two years, or maybe for yeah, you can't say for your life. Yeah. It's pretty difficult. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe he will rethink about it, yeah. and then he have to make the decision. Yeah, mm -hmm. focus on my work, yeah, yeah, yeah. or yeah. my wife, mm -hmm. or my yeah. friends. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, oh. do I prefer the circle? Yeah. 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 For me, it's always been since the more I started touring and traveling, is to I want to see my phone fill up with numbers of other people who are passionate about music and DJing as much as I am. And I can have those conversations, pick up the phone, call whenever, oh, they want to come DJ in Toronto or they, you know, go over there or wherever and just build that and have that as the journey, right? Wonderful. Yeah, so it's been... But two, maybe two years ago, you said, I want to just stay in Toronto or four years ago yeah. and want to go all in in Toronto. <laughs> yeah. But it's a different time, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And now you see, no, I want to cross more borders. Yeah, yeah. So it's a different, yeah, different yeah, yeah. goal, yeah, different yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 for sure. And then that's what I actually want to say was... I don't want to pre-think it yeah, yeah, before yeah. it happens. You don't know, yeah. you don't know. It just happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it was, yeah. for me, even just becoming a DJ just happened. <laughs> yeah. No, I never I never said, hey, I want to be a DJ. Yeah. Never said it. That's a whole <laughs> like, done, life kind of pushed me. Never said that. it again. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and uh, yeah, you asked me five, six years ago, would I have traveled and DJed and DJed in some of the clubs and places I have? Would uh, not even have thought of it. I have a, a, dream. Just, uh, a super example for for this, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm able to explain it in English, but we will figure it out. I, I woke up, on, in that moment, I just felt like I want to start a, coffee, uh, a bar mm. or a, mm -hmm. a roastery. Mm -hmm. yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. 
I don't know why. It, it made no sense that I already had one before. Yeah. And I just said, well, pff, I never want to do it again. Oh. Yeah. And I, but it just the feeling came up again. Yeah. And I was in the in the office and I wrote some some oh, letters. That makes me crazy. This this story. Yeah. <laughs> but that's just that's that's a different energy. Yeah. It's with it's not in our head. It's just. Mm, yeah. I don't know. I can't explain it, but yeah. it is there. Yeah. Yeah. And I always I, I, the letters have to go to a, uh, a building. It's maybe one kilometer uh, down okay. down from the city. Okay. And I I never throw it in the in the in the post letter or in the in the, the box. Yeah. In the, in box. the mailbox. Yeah. Uh, and. If I do it, I always use my car. Yeah. Okay. To go there. Yep. And on this day, I walked. You didn't, yeah. Yeah. I walked. <laughs> and I just crossed a uh, uh, old uh, cafe, of, uh, a oh, bar. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then just uh, stopped. Empty. Yeah. I just stopped. Yeah. You want to buy it? Uh, yeah. You want to buy the coffee machine and chairs <laughs> and that? And I, oh, I need a coffee machine. That's super. And I just make the picture and saved it, and then uh, I wrote in my in my to-do list, phone her, <laughs> and after that I just oh, I have time. No, I, I call her now. <laughs> I called her, and then she came. She told me all about her life and everything. And after that, she said, this "You is, may take it over." Yeah, this is yours if you want it. <laughs> it was just four hours. Yeah, so fast. <laughs> what happened on this day? <laughs> Somebody. Gave you their business? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. the business in between really four hours. Thought about it in the morning. She. I swear it's yeah true. Yeah, I was. I, I then I I, I uh, start thinking and thinking. I, I declined, but <laughs> that's the a. Stars were all aligned. And what was that? <laughs> Some of the stuff I'm working on now, it's the people I'm working with. I see how much passion they have, and it's something that interests me. So I've been like, okay, I'm gonna get involved. And it's never, oh, how, what can I get out of it? It's what can I do? What can, yeah. Yeah, what can I bring to the table to make this better? And then that's always worth, like, I, I'm a firm believer, the more you give, the more you serve, the more you get. Yes. Always. It's, it's, yes. So many good things have happened to me. Yes, in life. Even if you break it down to your personal life. Yeah, everything. But I think you have to start with yourself. Yes. You have to feel good. Yep. Otherwise, you don't you can't, have to you have nothing to give. Else. You have nothing to give. No, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you have to be the best you. Then, but it isn't like that. That you always feel very good. It's just like that. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, that's like yeah. Oh, well, it's not too bad. Yeah, the camera is not that uh, bad. But I can't oh, get the focus. Good. I think the good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So say. we are right now yeah. on the way to Eschweiler. <laughs> yeah, it's what he club said. Where, we, where we will play it tonight. Um, we picked up this random <laughs> producer, Malo on the beach. Malo, 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 okay, Malo, chilling, like you're chilling, you're Malo, Malo on the beat, what? <laughs> and uh, yeah, we are looking forward uh, to play in this club and we will show you some, some stuff, how Senga will uh, play there. And uh, we are really enjoying the yeah, time together. Good time. It's a very, very good time right now. So we are now at K Club. We are now at K Club, and Sanger is already ready. The place already Justin ready. Timberlake. Yes. Hey. Justin Timberlake. And yeah, the guys enjoy everything. Gross. Do some dance moves. No, no. no. <laughs> but just one. There's Marvin, best guy. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, prost. 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 Right? Cheers. <laughs> we just taught him how to say it. Cheers. <laughs> We are just, we sind gerade aus dem Club. Ich spreche den ganzen Tag Deutsch und Englisch gemischt. Keine Ahnung. Eschweller. <lacht> und äh, ja, wir sind jetzt auf jeden Fall fertig und Senga, Senga is now rocking the megaphone. 
for tomorrow propaganda and, and he is very yes he wants to shut down propaganda tomorrow and i just want to let the people know urban o is the way to go <laughs> it was very nice very nice <laughs> okay vlog uh, the uh, tonight we are ready tomorrow we will do another session and see you tomorrow bye guten morgen vlog hey vlog wir sind jetzt gerade in nimwegen unterwegs und äh, gucken uns mal die stadt so ein bisschen an Senga is already recording everything when you walk here because for the vlog. Oh. Yeah. You want to go here? Yeah. Sorry? It's fine. So what do you guys think uh, from Nijmegen? Beautiful. Yeah? yeah? Did you Good like vibe. Good vibe? Yeah. Did you enjoy the beer? I did enjoy it. <laughs> I, enjoy I, the, I enjoy the company more. Yeah. yeah. Hey. We are right now here in Discotheque E3. Or what the hell do you say it in English? E3. Discotheque E3. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay. You can still get bottles. It's a nicer place, right? Yeah. Good place. I've never had, and I've been there three and a half years. I've never had anyone spill alcohol on the okay. equipment or anything like that. This one gets drunk. <laughs> hi, hi. Oh, I'm saying a oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah. So I'm like cleaning like alcohol okay. off my record, and I'm like, how much? Well, the problem is, is they put the bottle right beside the. They do that for everybody. <laughs> that's the DJ's bottles. Why are you the only one spilling it? Now make that motherfucker aim it's all right. So after a uh, two hour sleep, we are now here at the airport and uh, bring Sanger and Jackie back. No, you fly to Marseille now. Yeah. yeah, vacation time. Yeah. yeah, do you want to say something like how did you did you like Germany or did you uh, like to play in Germany? Absolutely. Uh, honestly, a really great experience. More so because this guy, <laughs> this guy's got a great future ahead of him. He <laughs> loves DJing. He loves to craft. Um, I, I'm actually more than happy that we got to connect and build, and I'm looking forward to. Seeing you again, you're coming to Toronto. Yes. I I definitely will. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. 